In this edition of City News, mobile health services right outside your doorstep. Also, breaking bread together for a bigger purpose. These stories and much more coming up on City News. Hello and welcome to City News. I'm Kayla Moeller. Telehealth Van held their partnership debut with the City of Hawthorne and kicked it off with a ceremony at City Hall. Hawthorne is partnering up with Telehealth Van to work toward bridging the digital divide in the community. It's wonderful to know that we have a mobile teleconferencing uh, from the comfort of a van at your door, at your curb. Telehealth vans are a virtual health consultation service that provides solutions for the unhoused and vulnerable population who might not otherwise have access to resources like Wi-Fi or health care. So what Telehealth van does is it's wired as completely the 5G. It's com completely converted even with solar panels to make sure that it's not running gas just to reach people that a need to reach to to make sure that Everyone can get medical insurance the same. Everyone can meet with mental health therapists the same. Telehealth Van also provides a diversion program to keep people out of jail. And it serves as a way for youths and adults to meet with their probation workers digitally. Compton rapper YG is co-owner of Telehealth Van and wants to give back to the community. People need help, you know what I'm saying? People don't have resources. Um, so, 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 so to be able to, to provide resources and services to a community that I'm from and I came out and I was successful from this place, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's a blessing. The vans will be parked in various locations around the city and are equipped with iPads and hands-free privacy. Each van has one full-time driver and one full-time dispatch person. Keep coming next week if you feel like you want to do it next week. Come around. Next month, come around. We'll be here in our spots waiting for you. Open hands. If we can just help one person out of whatever they're doing, their hardships, isn't that worth something? Hawthorne is the first city in the South Bay to roll out this program, and it's already helping people. When I saw that van, and when I came out of that um, 99 cent store, I approached Mike and he pulled out his technology and immediately connected me to Coretta and within an hour she started advocating for me and today I've already had my package and uh, yeah. To more accurately measure success, telehealth has also teamed up with Oracle to create a database to track progress. So your dignitaries and councilmen can actually follow how things are going. So Hearthon's taking a front seat role at making sure this works. So we're hoping that this partnership with access more people that don't have health insurance. This program is really important because nobody else is doing this. We're really the first ones out here helping our people who want to get back to society and just everybody has another chance and we're giving that hope. The vans also have flyers, phone numbers and resources for food banks and housing to get people back on their feet. To learn more about the vans, you can visit their website at telehealthvan.com. A vaccine clinic returned to the Hawthorne Senior Center. Francisco Castillo has the details. Providence Community Health provided senior citizens and local residents free COVID-19 boosters. I think it helps everyone by not going to the hospital, or perhaps go to the next row. Right? Providence was also providing COVID-19 vaccines for those who hadn't been vaccinated and needed the first or second dose. It's important, uh, especially for our elder, elderly population, uh, their immune system may be weaning down a little bit. That booster is going to help, you know, bring up their immune system back to a good level to be able to uh, fight off the virus in case uh, anybody else around them is sick. About 70 individuals benefited from this vaccine clinic and those who had not been vaccinated are encouraged to do so. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Francisco Castillo. To find a walk-in clinic or to make an appointment to get your COVID-19 vaccine, visit myturn.ca.gov. Branching out and learning something new. 
That is what one local spiritual community in Hawthorne is hoping neighbors will do. HCTV's Lauren McKay stopped by for a special event to hear their message. Opening its doors, welcoming in the community with open arms. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. We want to inform our fellow Americans that Muslims are here as peaceful Americans, as peaceful Muslims, as peaceful humans, and let's work with each other. The annual Open Mosque Day event has been happening since 1994 and is finally back this year at the Islamic Center of Hawthorne. So this is an annual event, but last year was COVID. So yeah, last year we couldn't do this in person, but we're so happy to be back. The goal of the event, to allow others to see the Islamic community in a different light. We want to just dispel any misconceptions about Islam. We, we like to own our narrative. They do that first with food, gifts, and resources to bring the community together. It kind of just, you know, breaks the ice and brings people in. Breaking barriers as they break bread. This is just a human psychology that uh, once people get to see each other, meet each with each other, you know, break bread with each other, social, uh, socialize with each other, many barriers that we may have had regarding our backgrounds and faith and cultures and races, they will go away. And this year, they're putting a bit of a twist onto things. There is only one God worthy of worship. A virtual reality tour bringing people up close and personal with the Muslim faith and popular holy sites. So people can wearing the glasses, it will be as if they are there with all the sounds and the noises. This is the future. All of these efforts in hopes of a brighter and more accepting community in the future. For HCTV, I'm Laura McKay. If you'd like to know more about the Islamic community and how to move toward peaceful relationships, you can go to www.gainpeace.com. The city was able to provide 400 Hawthorne residents with gift cards to purchase food for Thanksgiving. Residents and families gathered at City Hall to receive the gift cards on November 19th. Today is a good day for Hawthorne because we're serving about 400 families and uh, we're going to help them have a good meal for Thanksgiving. The, it was uh, advertised throughout the community that uh, for those that are in need can register and come down to City Hall and pick up a $25 gift card. The cards were made possible through the American Rescue Plan Act and was funded through the Coronavirus Local Fiscal Recovery Fund. $10,000 was appropriated for this effort. ARPA was signed into law by President Biden on March 11, 2021, establishing the coronavirus recovery funds for states and local governments across the U.S. Coming up next on City News, there's a new sweet spot in town and also a home-cooked meal for hundreds of people. There's more news ahead. We'll be right back. Welcome back. For over 25 years, the Hawthorne Lawndale Ministerial Association has provided a Thanksgiving meal to seniors and disadvantaged families in the community. Ernesto Giles has more. After a year of being apart and isolated, seniors and disadvantaged families were treated to a warm Thanksgiving lunch provided by volunteers from local religious groups at the Hawthorne Memorial Center. We haven't gotten together in a long time and everyone is so happy to be able to see each other again and to gather together for the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. Uh, this is our first year back because of the pandemic. People have been locked up and cooped up and it's great to get the community back together and uh, share in a, a festivity of, of giving thanks to God for what we have. The meal included traditional Thanksgiving fixings such as turkey, stuffing, yams, and for dessert, attendees had a choice between apple, or pumpkin pie. A lot of seniors don't get Thanksgiving and a lot of them are at home by themselves. So this is an opportunity that we can bring Thanksgiving to them. Thanks to the contributions of local organizations and businesses, attendees were also able to win gift cards in a raffle. Ernesto Giles reporting for HCTV. According to event coordinators, more than 200 people were fed at the luncheon. This restaurant will cure all your sugary cravings with the most top-notch ingredients. La Michoacana Ice Cream Shop has added another location in Hawthorne at 118th Street and Hawthorne Boulevard. We are always welcoming new businesses into the city of Hawthorne and we are so happy to have 
La Michoacana in the city. And I want to try to do my best thing, me and my family, and I try to open maybe more location right here in the city of Hato. A warm welcome was accompanied by a ribbon cutting ceremony. <laughs> and this family owned ice cream shop has more to offer than just sweet treats. We make uh, pepinos locos or sandia locas, crepas, tortas. The Hernandez family is from Michoacan, Mexico, and they want to bring the best quality ingredients to their customers. The difference in products is that we create our own products with the best quality, fresh produce, everything is clean. We were born doing this. There's a lot of places to try to save money, but the quality is minimal. We try to give the best quality to our customers. Hernandez and his family wake up early every morning to get fresh fruits and ingredients for their extensive menu. Today I picked up uh, fresas con crema, which is strawberries with a uh, condensed milk on top. And then I also picked up a bag of chips and some ice creams. The crepas, it is, they are really good. They have in different flavors, strawberry, banana, and, uh, and apple. La Michoacana offers an authentic feel with traditional treats from Michoacan, Mexico. We have it right here in Hawthorn, so you don't need to go to Mexico or travel to Hawthorn. You can come and have this delicious ice cream. The ladies who work here, they do a very good job. It's a very good customer service. They're really nice. If you're overwhelmed with the options, the employees will help you choose. La Michoacana is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and is located at 11812 Hawthorne Boulevard. Every two weeks, the city clerk's office gives away free produce to community members, and this last giveaway had a treat for the kids. Reporter Lauren McCabe was there to find out more. The holiday season is in full swing as families lined up outside of City Hall for food and toys. It's very neat how you guys have produce and how they have um, like healthy, nutritious things as well as um, like active toys such as bats and balls for the kids. I think it's amazing. So yeah, it just all, it all represents something very healthy for the community. With the help from Grupo Con Decisiones, Win LA, and family and friends, City Clerk Paul Jimenez was able to provide a gift for children ages zero to 10 and PPE kits to keep families healthy. I think around the holiday season or just in general, I think it's important to do these things to bring community together. Each individual also receives two bags of fresh produce. We have uh, watermelons, uh, mangoes, green beans, uh, fancy bell peppers, uh, tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. Right now, because of the pandemic, many families do not have enough money to cover all of this stuff. So having these events also makes the community get together, you know, volunteers and those who come around. And I feel like it helps. In addition to the giveaway, families could take home a keepsake. My son really liked it. He was very excited once he saw the snowman set up and everything. And we went and took really nice pictures. Uh, the Polaroid pictures came out really cute and fast. So, um, yeah, it was just it was an amazing experience overall. The kids, they were excited to get a toy just in time for Christmas. There was like little little soccer balls and little baseballs and little basketballs. You know, seeing their smiles and seeing them saying thank you. And honestly, for me as a teenager, it just makes me so happy to see others because I know they're going to have a toy and when they get home, they're going to be playing. They're going to tell their friends. The produce only giveaway will continue every other Saturday outside of City Hall from 10 to 12. For HCTV, I'm Lauren McKay. To learn more about the city clerk's office and what they're doing in the community, you can search Instagram at Dr. Paul Hawthorne. When we return, Santa came to town just a bit early. The veterans of foreign wars post 2075 held their 48th Veterans Thanksgiving luncheon. Francisco Castillo joined the occasion. Buses full of veterans arrived at the Hawthorne BFW post for a hot cooked meal. We're here to help serve the veterans and this is a Thanksgiving feast that we're putting on for them. Many of them did not get out of the hospital 
uh, much during the year. This is uh, a time for them to come out and meet their fellow comrades and uh, participate in a good meal. With help from Hawthorne High's Junior Navy ROTC cadets, the post was able to serve around 80 people. We're just going to be like their servers and feed them food and take care of them. I feel good about myself, like being able to see how happy they are. The vets were served a full Thanksgiving meal. We did six full turkey breasts, six full hams. We did a ton of mashed potatoes and yams and green beans and gravy and cranberry sauce and rolls and butter. I've been here at least half a dozen times now and I always enjoy it. The Hawthorne VFW Post works hard to support veterans and active service members. We in the Veterans of Foreign Wars and its auxiliary understand what service members, vets, and their families have experienced because that's what we are, that's who we are. After having to miss a year of the luncheon due to COVID, the veterans are back together remembering. Veterans put their life on the line for the American people and some of them never made it back. Some of them paid for this with their life. We have to keep them in mind every day because they fought for us, for our freedom, for our liberty. So it's good that there is a time like Thanksgiving to give back to them and to the community. So they're very important. That's what I'm here. Following the lunch, a game of bingo was played and they were offered a special treat before heading back to their hospitals. Each one receives a goodie bag that contains cookies and a mandarin orange and some candy and a ballpoint pen from the VFW. And if they so choose, they're welcome to take one of the lap robes uh, or wheelchair robes. The robes were quilted in conjunction with the Trinity Lutheran Church in Hawthorne. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Francisco Castillo. The post is located at 4563 West 131st Street in Hawthorne. Operation Gobble provided many local families the main dish for Thanksgiving. Tony Long Jr. has the details. Right outside of City Hall, residents lined up to receive a free turkey. It gives me great honor to know that the City of Hawthorne and those that work here and provide a service here are helping today in giving turkeys to those in need for the Thanksgiving holiday. So Councilwoman and myself, you know, we partnered to, to get the, uh, these turkeys, you know, from the Republic Service, from Connected Credit Union, and from some other agencies to donate, so to give these families a turkey for Thanksgiving. This giveaway was about providing necessary holiday resources for the community. We are uh, uh, elected officials, we serve the people, so we try to make their life much a little bit easy. So we, wherever we can do it to make their life happy, and that's what we're trying to do, to give a good Thanksgiving to some of the needy families. So I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I think it's amazing, um, not only for me, but for other members of the community. It brings people together, especially during Thanksgiving when, you know, people are gathering um, for the holidays. And I'm very grateful um, for this opportunity to meet her. Hawthorne Council Member Andy Reyes English says about 700 families benefit from Operation Gobble. For HCTV, this is Tony Long Jr. For more information on other events and programs happening in the city of Hawthorne, visit the city calendar page on the city website at www.cityofhawthorne.org. Common Space Brewery held their annual snow day and holiday market. This brewery brought back their snow day event this year for some family friendly fun. A really fun uh, you know, event where we bring in a ton of snow. This year we upped it a little bit to 20 tons of snow. With a lot of open air space, Common Space Brewery is able to bring families together in a safe environment. We brought along our uh, little daughter, she's under two. Um, so this first time kind of playing with uh, quote unquote snow. So uh, it's nice to see her kind of like, you know, discovering that and feeling the coldness and, you know, play with a little snowball. Santa and Mrs. Claus also paid a visit to the brewery to interact with the kids and take photos. We've embedded in our DNA. We always have wanted to do events like this and try to bring people together. My, my favorite part was playing in the snow. Today I'm a little cold because it is a little cold. And my favorite part about today is a hot cocoa and being with my friends. 
In addition to the snow, a holiday market was held inside. There's about 20 local vendors. Um, I found many of them through Instagram, which has been really helpful. It's been very successful. We have desserts and handmade candles and some children's wear clothing companies, which has been great. It's important for local businesses to unite the community, especially in the holiday season. Common Space Brewery has more upcoming community events, and you can check out their public events page by visiting www.commonspace.la events. Common Space Brewery is located at 3411 West El Segundo Boulevard. Keep it right here on Channel 22 for these future city news stories. We'll show you a wintry wonderland. Also, South Bay Workforce Investment Board holds its annual awards banquet. And St. Margaret's provides a Christmas lane for parents and kids. That does it for this edition of City News. Thanks for watching. If you have any story ideas, please call us at 310-349-1630 or email us at hctv at hawthornca.gov. Don't forget you can always watch City News online on YouTube by searching Hawthorne Community Television. We'll leave you now with footage from the Snow Day event. We'll see you next time.